This is a book review of Call Me Ted, biography of billionaire Ted Turner. We are accessory to success and we review a lot of business books like this here. We take little tidbits and takeaways from all these great books, package them up and send them out in a once a week email along with some great book recommendations. If that sounds interesting, head over to the website and consider subscribing. Now on to the main takeaway from Call Me Ted. Call Me Ted is an autobiography written by Ted Turner, an American businessman. He wrote the book over a period of three years with the help of Bill Burke, and it was released in November 10, 2008. Turner started working in his father's billboard company at a very young age every summer. When he eventually took it over, he worked hard and turned it into an international media empire. The company created the first news channel, CNN, TBS, and many more. In the book, Ted has also discussed some of his controversial business moves like the merger of Time Warner and AOL, which was disastrous. The book dives into Ted Turner's personal life, including the suicide of his father, his mother's death, and his marriage to Jane Fonda. Ted's book is quite inspirational, and there are so many things you can learn from this book. Here are some bullet points of what you'll learn in this book. Teaching childhood lessons about hard work can last a lifetime. Being successful requires taking risks, good leadership, networking, business skills, toughness, and dedication. When the bar is set high, people do their best. Life is always going to present you with many victories and defeats. You just have to keep going. Be optimistic about life. A favorite quote is, early to bed, early to rise, work like hell, and advertise. Now on to the main book summary. Whenever employees at CNN or other people from businesses that Ted Turner ran met him, he would always say, call me Ted. This became a mocking formality and it showed how open he was. On the contrary, Ted was never open about his thoughts and feelings. In the book, Call Me Ted, he opens up and tells the readers that he doesn't like living in the past and that's why he never opens up. His early achievements were significant considering the challenges he had to go through as a child. Ted's father was abusive and beat him up badly, and once even made the situation worse by asking Ted to beat him back. His father had a temper and was an alcoholic chain smoker. A challenging childhood like this is shared by billionaire Kirk Kerkorian. Learn more about Kirk in his biography, The Gambler. His mother left him and his father in Atlanta. She went to her family back in Cincinnati to seek help for her family members in raising her daughter. Ted's little sister had severe brain damage due to an autoimmune disease, and she suffered from a lot of pain, which led to her early death, and this shocked the family. The loss of his father and sister impacted him emotionally, for sure. He would work for his father while learning life lessons as he grew up. This included walking through muddy fields trying to find the right place to put billboards. He got the respect of other workers at this time, and his father was specific about not giving him special treatment. It served him well in that he knew how to work hard and always did. Ted had grit, something Angela Duckworth describes in her book, Grit. Ted went to military school and had a very hard time following the rules. He was constantly breaking the rules and getting in trouble. Over time, though, he began to fall in line, growing up and became an exceptional student. He attributes a good amount of his discipline to his time in his life. Being raised strict can lead to strong minds, apparently, because Zappos founder Tony Shea had a similar experience with strict parents. More about that in his biography, Delivering Happiness. In his time at the helm, he grew the billboard company, but quickly realized that opportunity was elsewhere. He was buying businesses and expanding constantly. He would think that a guy who owns the Braves and the Hawks would be excited to share a lot about it, but these transactions got a small portion of the book dedicated to them. He just did so many deals throughout his life. Very similar to Ken Langone in his book, I Love Capitalism. Turner Advertising began merging with radio stations to grow the business, but Ted soon saw that television was going to take over. Ted battled his board to buy a television station in Atlanta and turned it around from being a poorly run, unprofitable business to the opposite. Once on its feet, Turner again looked to expand WTCG and expand he did. The station soon reached Alabama, Florida, many more, and renamed the channel to The Superstation. Selling memberships was challenging, so Ted figured out how to drive more revenue without changing the business. He found direct response advertisers that would end up proving very successful, profitable, and bring the company back to good standing. 
Turner was a visionary and always looking forward. He turned his sights on cable news, which at the time he felt wasn't oversaturated. This is when CNN, Cable News Network, was born. It was news 24-7 and began to lose money right away. As always, though, Turner turned it around. Now that Ted had his arms around Cable, he set a BHAG, a big, hairy, audacious goal. That is something found in the book Built to Last. The goal is to merge with a major network like NBC, CBS, or ABC, and it was not in the cards yet. In an effort to continue to grow, Ted made a deal with Kirk Kerkorian to buy MGM. This transaction is also chronicled in Kirk's biography, The Gambler. Doing this deal would push Turner to the brink on debt. Ted needed to get debt under control if he was not to lose his company to Kirk. Unfortunately, and fortunately for Ted, he would end up doing a deal with Kirk to sell back part of the company for $300 million loss, but it lightened his debt load, so it worked out for him. In an effort to grow the company, he would end up bringing together 30 cable operators to buy the company's shares for $567 million. His cash represented 37% of his company and removed his veto power and ability to push things through. Now that he had sufficient funds, he was able to launch TNT. The year was 1988. It wasn't until years later that he would be denied another expansion opportunity. Ted almost made a deal with Warren Buffett and Tom Murphy, but they didn't want to buy a movie studio, and Ted did. Ted wanted production, and he thought he would get economies from it. The meeting was going well, until Ted, who was told not to, mentioned the studio. This immediately soured Warren to the deal. Ted wanted it that way. He was very honest and straightforward. More about Warren's investing strategies in the book Life Lessons. Ted eventually made a deal with Time Warner. In the process of building efficiencies, they began a merger with AOL. The future was the internet, and Ted wasn't really a part of it. This legendary merger is well chronicled in the book The Third Wave. Steve Case tells the story of the Time Warner AOL merger along with many other great stories. Jack Welsh also discusses this in his biography, Straight from the Gut. At the end of Ted's time in the merger, he was put on an ice float, as he put it, resigned, and sold his shares. When it comes to his family life, Ted has had issues with commitment and obligation. As a result, he has been in multiple failed marriages. He always seems to pick his businesses and sailing over his family. This is common for most billionaires from what we've read. In the book, Turner is displayed as a visionary leader who made mistakes but has always been ready to work harder than his competitors. This is something that both he and Tony Shea share. More about Tony, the Zappos founder in his biography, Delivering Happiness. Ted works hard to turn crazy ideas into successful organizations. About the author, Ted Turner. Robert Ted Turner, the author of Call Me Ted, was born in November 19, 1938. He is an American businessman, media mogul, and philanthropist. One thing that Ted is famous for is his gift of $1 billion to the United Nations. He is also popular because he is the founder of CNN and TBS and many more media companies. After reading Call Me Ted, which is a typical Ted Turner biography, you will have learned how he became the most successful man in media and cable news industry history. Ted's boisterous and unique style made one of the most well-known business persons in the world. Along with his numerous accomplishments, Ted was once the richest man in the world, and he revolutionized the television business. Ted can be described as an innovative entrepreneur, philanthropist, nonconformist, and a business legend. For the first time in his book, he reveals his personal life without sparing any details or feelings. This has been a book review of Call Me Ted biography of billionaire Ted Turner. Hope you've enjoyed it. There's a lot of other book recommendations in this review. You can find links to all of those in the blog post. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. You can get book recommendations and takeaways from all these great books. Follow us on social media, YouTube, TikTok, so forth. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next review.